So good morning guys, we're out finally. It's been rain and wind and one storm after another for weeks. But today there's a break in the weather. As you can see, I've got sunglasses on. It's really quite warm set here. We're fishing on Hasdor Wall today in Gosport. And it offers a bit of shelter with the wind direction. It's coming directly behind and the wall's giving us some protection. Um, the water in front of us is flat calm. And I think it's gonna be a nice day, weather-wise. It's that prospect of fishing Portsmouth during the day and it's been bad for a few weeks, but you've got to be in it to win it. If your baits are out there, you've got a chance. So I'm going to get the rods and everything set up. Now it's low water and uh, it's about eight o'clock now. And I think it's going to start turning soon. The high tide's about quarter past 20 past one this afternoon. So I've got a good, good bit of time. So I'm going to get the rods set up, get some baits sorted out. And in the meantime, you can watch a little bit of B-roll. So right now, I'm just rigging up. I'm gonna fish up and overs, I think, because the wall is so high in relation to the water's edge. I think I need to make sure that my bait's definitely sitting on the bottom. If I'm fishing like a pulley rig or anything like that, because of the steep angle of the line from the rod tip, it could mean that the bait, especially with a bit of tide flow, isn't fishing on the bottom. And if we are gonna pick up a ray, then uh, the bait definitely needs to be nailed on the bottom. So I'm going to fish an up and over rig, not a particularly long one. I've been taking a leaf out of Mark's book and uh, he fishes them sort of 24 inch bodies and 36 inch hook lengths, which is enough. It's not unwieldy. I think the shorter rig doesn't release in the air as frequently. And I think 36 inches, three foot on the bottom it's on the bottom, that's the, that's the important bit. Doesn't matter how much. So yeah, three foot, size 4.0, size 2.0. Uh, I've got bluey squid and sand eels, so. Gonna get one of them wrapped on, get one out there in the sea and we're fishing. So I've got two rods out, I'm just going to stick with those two at the moment, see how it goes, see if we get any nibbles. It is still early in the tide. It's lovely set here. Days like this get you really excited about springtime and early summer. 
because this is really really nice because I've got no wind because of this wall behind me and the sun is right there yeah little sun trap it's a nice quiet spot as well maybe because it's midweek but I can see at the weekends it might be a place for people to walk their dogs perhaps but it is a bit of a dead end it's a bit of a road to nowhere I mean unless you're coming down here fishing there's no real reason to be down here Got beautiful visibility today. Can really see Portsmouth Seafront and the Isle of Wight. Cruise ships in the background, the forts. It's really nice. I am looking forward to getting back in the lakes and rivers though. I've got one more day of holiday to use up before the new lot starts in April. So over the next few weeks, I need to take one more midweek day off. And I think a trip to one of my little prolific carp pools would be in order or if it's a calm day I might even be able to take the little boat out so many options I want to do some lure fishing as well this year got the stuff just need to get out there That's absolutely glorious. Mark's arrived now, he decided to show up. That is greedy stew <laughs> and his four rods. <laughs> You've got to maximise your chances, Mark. Yes, you have, mate. Yes, you have. <laughs> uh, filming me, filming you. Yeah. <laughs> you and me, me and you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so the rods were out there for about two hours. Um, didn't mean to leave them that long, but I had them out there for about an hour. I had one knock, which I'm not sure if it was a knock from a fish, or whether, because this, because I'm so high up and I've got so much line from the rod tip to the surface of the water, I wasn't sure if it might have been a seagull or a pigeon sort of flying by and just knocking into the line. It was literally one bang on the rod and a jingle on the bell. But uh, yeah, I was just thinking about winding the rods in, and then Mark arrived and obviously we got chatting, um, had a bit of a chin wag and uh, bits and pieces, and then next thing you know, it's two hours I've gone by and I'm winding the rods in and uh, practically completely bare hooks so um, I've got no doubt there's loads and loads of crabs out there but it's a beautiful day it's really warm I think I'm going to have to take another layer off in a minute get me bikini on and uh, make a cocktail now it is that warm it really is this wind is completely shattering us from the wind and the sun is really really intense so it's beautiful it's really nice um, on the fishing front, who knows, I said to you I was going to stick two rods out and uh, see how that goes. I'm sitting here thinking I've got two more rods in the bag. It's going to be a tough day. Why not maximise my chances and put the other couple of rods out? So I've got all four of them out now, all splayed out, all different distances. I've got squid and sand deal on one. I've got double sand deal on another. I've got bluey and sand deal on one and I've got just bluey on the other. So I've got a variety of baits as well. There's loads and loads of boat traffic out there. It's just a glorious day. Can't beat it. Chances will be sharing
Pay for the night was free. So it's nearly 12 o'clock, nearly midday, nearly lunchtime. Just had a hot cross bun and a cup of tea. Mark just had another bite. He's just put one rod out with some black lug and some squid on. And just had a little bite, missed it, but a little bit of the squid was gone missing. So with the whiting that he had earlier as well, I think there's a few whiting out there to be caught. It's just that predominantly I'm fishing with sort of five, four o hooks and big, big baits. So I might swap one of the rods over to a, a little flapper type scratching rig of some description in a minute and put a couple of strips of squid on and see if we can see if we can catch a fish could catch something today when we fished at gill kick at that time it was during the day it was a, it was a similar sort of session but there was nothing around you know and right at the death on a scratching rig, rig i managed to catch a whiting just to save the blank save the day but i think there's a few more fish out there today than there was that day so i think i should capitalize on it now while they're out there while the tide's running I think it's about three, no, it's about quarter past one. It's about an hour and a quarter to high water. So I think I'm going to do it. I need to do it shortly. I've only gone and caught a fish. It's absolutely dead. Mark had that little whiting earlier, and we've been fishing with decent baits out there and little scratching rods and all sorts, just trying to get a fish on the bank, but it's not been happening. But I've just put a, a couple of strips of squid on, some size five hooks, just to try and catch something small. And we've got a pollock. We've got a nice pollock. That's not a bad size one either. That'll do, won't it? There's the blank saver. Probably got about an hour until I have to go, so. Oh, there we go. He's a bit lively. Yeah, got about an hour till I have to get going. I started getting a bit twitchy, thinking it was going to be a big fat blank, but no, rod started bouncing around, and there you go. I'm putting it out with no grippers on, just a, a four ounce lead, a, 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 a sort of standard round lead so it can search out a bit of water. And I've got these long strips of squid on, probably look like little fish going along in the tide, because the tide's racing quite a bit. So searching out a bit of water, there we go. Happy days. Looking a bit ominous over there. Look at the color of that sky, it's absolutely tipping it down. Quite nice where we are though. And I'm off soon, so I think I'm gonna be able to avoid the deluge. So there's the big old rain cloud that's just narrowly missed us. Might even be hailstones, that one. Well, I reckon this might be it, you know. It is now, I've got to be at work at five, I've got to start work at five o'clock. And it's half past three, so by the time I get everything packed away, rigs taken off and everything. Um, yeah, I think by the time I wind all these in, it's going to be time for me to leave, so. We caught a fish, had a lovely day out with Mark, can't complain at that. Much better than being stuck in the office, that's for sure. Don't know when I'm going to be out next. I've got, I think I've got Friday and Saturday free this weekend, but looking at the forecast, it's just going to be, the wind is just going to be horrendous. I think there's another storm front coming, um, which I think is going to put pay to any plans to go fishing. So I think we just have to play it by ear with the weather. As soon as we get a break in it, like we have today, just have to take that opportunity and get out. But I will let you know if there's anything on the end of these rods when I wind them in, but I'll, every time I've wound in so far today, the hooks have been completely stripped. So I think there's loads of crabs out there and not much else. I think after dark when I go, Mark's gonna stay on for a couple of hours. I think that's gonna be the time. I think he could have a few fish after dark. Fingers crossed. 